Hello everyone, this is Dino Sasha here, and welcome back to another review, and today we're gonna take a look at the figure, it is the Collecta 2020 Roaring Allosaurus. Now, Allosaurus, which name means different lizard, is a genus of theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, about 155 to 145 million years ago, who lives across from North America, Europe, and Africa. Now, the creature's length is about 8.5 meters, 28 feet long for a fragilis, but some specimens like 9.7 meters, 32 feet long, and weighed about, as we can see the with the thing, it weighed about 2.3 to 2.7 metric tons, or 2.5 to 3.0 short tons, but some species were more various of weights. Now, Allosaurus was a member of a mem species of Allosauridae family, and a closer descendant from now it's the Carcharodontosaurus. This would include Carcharodontosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Acrocanthosaurus, which that would make it. Now, Allosaurus has many variety of three species. This would include Allosaurus fragilis. Allosaurus Europaeus and Allosaurus Jimsoni, which in that considered that the Allosaurus was completely a different. Now, but there is another Allosaurus whose exome is a completely different species called Asaurophaganax. However, it lives in numerous information alongside with Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, Dryosaurus, and Brachiosaurus. Now, they're carnivores; they mainly hunt for prey. Now, let's talk about the skull. I mean, it's a smaller figure, and I'm okay with this because this is a pretty good looking Allosaurus, not gonna lie. Because I use it as a very main source, because this is a very good looking figure. And I like how the sculpting on the everything in it is just perfect. And I like the pose though, it is a roaring pose, but people suggested that this is not looking accurate. But this Allosaurus is actually a pretty nice in detail. It's very considered as how that Allosaurus managed to survive in the Jurassic era until it died for 145 million years ago, but it's a very good looking. And I like the details, it's a little rough because due to the skin detailing, which is a very, very, very strange. Because I like how the design was, it's very good looking. Now, for a reason, I kind of like how the figure's very strange, bizarre ends. Well, now let's talk about the color scheme. Now, the color scheme is a very acceptable. It is dark green in color, which dark olive green colors all across from the body, especially the white spikes, which I would think it's a silver spikes all across from the body, and especially the yellowish underbody, which across is from the body to the tail, and especially there's a gray feet, and I like how the piloting silver on the toenails and claws. And I like the head though, it's kind of resembled Allosaurus Jimsoni, which the species is now completely real. Now, this is a very good looking Allosaurus, it's, it's how like a tongue because of it. So this is how very rare looking specimens could have had such a very magnificent details. And yeah, the reason is, and I like the these crest like horns though, they're colored red. And yeah, this is a really good one. So the accuracy, I kind of like how this accurate Allosaurus was. But the reason is, well, I'm thinking this is a very good looking dinosaur. And I'm thinking it's a very nice in my opinion. So we're gonna bring up a rule. So let's give this some measures from terms of the length from the tip of the tail, always tip of the snout, which is rows at about. 7.2 inches and which is only at about which is I would further the size hmm I would rather change that size though well um, all right so it's around 18 centimeters and a height on top of the head we're looking at about as we see it's 3.6 inches and which is only at about, as we closer to the 
to a seven and a half centimeters. Now for comparison, I'm gonna bring up a one Allosaurus figure that I had. Here's with the Schleich 2007 Allosaurus. Now it's called Big Al. And now we could see the comparison since the Schleich one is bigger and very intimidating looking. So this one is really good. For the Allosaurus that actually called Gems and I. So I'm gonna link this one in the description box down below. So for a rating, I'm gonna give this Allosaurus a solid 9 out of 10. Which is a very, very good figure, and most people think that it's a horrible figure. But in my opinion, this is a very accurate. So if you know about the Allosaurus figure, let me know in the comments. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. So you'll never miss the videos, and leave a comments below. And I hope to see you for another review of the BNSO 2022 Anthony the Storacosaurus. Good luck, and see you all next time.